a really good week. Happy Thursday. Um, so this week, what we're going to be doing is what are they going to be thinking next time that they see you? So this could be when you meet in person. This could be when uh, you communicate over social media. We're not going to put a kind of gist on earthly foundations that are saying, oh, when you meet up with them in person, it's going to be like this. It's just going to be, what are they going to think next time you guys meet? Now, meet could be social media as well. So please keep that at your back of your mind for this. It could also be in person, uh, but we want you to keep your energies as open as possible. So we've got two decks. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into all your energy, go into all your people's energy and pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So this is debt number one and this is debt number two. I've been at the World Divination Association virtual conference this weekend so I ended up with new decks. Um, this one's a Robin Wood Tarot and this one is the Santa Muerte Tarot. Now with the decks, what I'll do is I'll put the links to them in the description. This one just comes with a little bit of a trigger warning if you're drawn to it. Um, I absolutely love this deck, but some of you might find it a little bit freaky. So just please bear that in mind when you're picking the deck. So number one, number two, go to the deck that you are most drawn to. Okay, well the pattern, the pattern's calling you. Okay, and as you're being drawn to that deck, I want you to think about your person. And when you think about your person, I really want you to feel that heart energy bubbling up inside of you. Try to focus on the positives rather than the negatives. Um, feel that heart energy bubbling up inside of you. And as you feel it, really try and push it into the deck that you are drawn to. So feel your energy merging with the deck. If you can't feel it, just visualize or see uh, like a color, um, a green color going towards the deck you are most drawn to. And that will be your heart energy going into it for your person, okay? Number one, number two. So I hope that you're all okay and that you've had a really good week and that you're all still staying safe with everything that is going on, okay? Uh, right, number one. So think about your person for me and let's do this. So we get into deck number one's energy. Deck number one. Okay, can you think about your person for me? Can we get into their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? Um, all readings on this channel are timeless. The reason for that is because as a psychic, we have no definition of time. Time is a man-made object. So uh, we can dive into the past, present, and future. So if you are watching this, I don't know, six months down the line, it will still stand, okay? That number one's, uh, right, think about your person, thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes, and or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. So the first thing that's coming through my right ear is a really, really old song, and it's that, when will I see you again? And I don't know who sang it, I can hear someone singing it. When it's in my right ear, it's higher dimensional beings like angels, archangels, um, higher vibrational, higher dimensional beings. In my left ear, it's my close guides, and if I do personal readings, it's your, your guides coming through that left ear. When I do mediumship, if any of you are interested, when I do mediumship, in your left, in my left ear, it's your dad's side of the family, and in your right ear, it's your mum's side of the family. So it's pretty cool. All right. So can you tell me what is gonna, what are they going, their people going to think about those watching the next time they see them? Let's see what we get. Fabulous. I love the Empress. She's one of my favourite cards. So I'm just going to keep going until spirit tell me to stop, until the guides tell me to stop. Whenever I say us or we, I, I tend to mean me and my guides because they're very closely linked into my energy. Um, what will they be thinking? We normally tend to stop about eight or nine, but let's see. Okay, yeah. Right, we're stopping there. So... This is where we are going. Now, I love this deck because the colours on them are so phenomenally beautiful. Now, the first thing that we need to talk about with your person and you and you guys meeting is, or again, even if it's on social media, it's going to throw them a loop. So they, for uh, a lot of them, have thought, no, I'm okay. I'm acting on logic. I'm acting 
on um, not dealing with the emotional side of things. And when you guys do meet, it's gonna throw them a loop. It's gonna make them think, shit, what have I done about this situation? How have I handled it? And there's a lot of regret and there's gonna be a lot of remorse. Now, will your person tell you that? It's highly unlikely, but this is what's gonna be going through their thought process. You've got this regret and remorse and how they treated you, you know, as a whole, um, the way that they've kind of handled the situation with you guys watching has not been the best, you know? Um, so when they do meet you, they are gonna be feeling um, this very strong regret and remorse towards you. They're also gonna be super thrilled that you guys are back in contact and that you guys are seeing each other. Now this is, tends to be happening in the summer months, for, so your collective timing on it is the summer months, so from, um, technically it starts on my birthday, June 21st, summer solstice, hippie baby. Um, so technically June 21st till the, the um, autumn equinox, okay, in August. So in the summer months, this is where your majority energy is sitting on you guys kind of meeting up with each other. So there's these happy emotions, there are these happy feelings, and with those happy emo emotions, you have regret and remorse from your person. Um, they feel bad, they will be feeling bad about everything that happened. The other thing that's gonna be happening is they're really going to see you in a different light, Spirit is saying. So they're really gonna think of you um, in a very, different way than perhaps they have perceived you before. And that different way is more about having a stable foundation with you for the future. So, oh, off me Empress goes, she's shot off over the floor. Their emotions are gonna be feeling more stable and they are gonna be feeling more secure about the situation. Now it's really interesting that you have three major arcana coming up in the top row. So this isn't gonna be a little walk in the park. This is major stuff going on here. So when they meet you, this major stuff is going to be going through their thought process oh my god I made a mistake look how beautiful they are what have I done um maybe this is a really good way for us to have a future I can see myself with this person um and this kind of abundant energy is coming forward so you're going to be going through quite a good time with your person there's definitely a role reversal happening here as well spirit is saying so anywhere where you have been making the effort anywhere that you feel like it's all been landing on you the roles are going to reverse the scales are going to tip and it's going to start coming into your favor and that's something that perhaps hasn't really happened massively in the past with you and them so the overall feeling, the overall consensus spirit are saying about this connection, when you guys reunite, again, doesn't have to be face to face, um, but it's gonna be a very positive feeling between you both. Now I can definitely see, um, this is gonna be aimed at one of you specifically, but I can definitely see you sitting in a park with your person having a picnic. Um, there's someone else I can see social media, when the, it's over Facebook, when the blue message comes through, you're gonna be dancing for joy. Um, and there's also one more where you guys are gonna be meeting in a kind of pub environment, which seems quite unlikely at the moment, but that's exactly what's coming through there. So there's three specific messages for three of you watching. It's always really difficult when spirit give me individual messages in a public reading. So I throw them out there until you uh, until the time happens and you'll, you'll know who you are. You won't know yet, but you will know at that point in time. Um, so, the initial thoughts that they were gonna be having is really positive. There's gonna be a kind of a sexual frustration coming forward as well, Spirit is saying that your person's gonna be a little bit sexually frustrated, um, a little bit hot to handle, a little bit too hot to handle. So there's this kind of sexual energy coming forward as well. Um, when they see you again, or when you meet them, it's gonna throw them a loop because they've been acting on logic rather than their emotions. They've been thinking everything is okay, everything is great, everything is perfect, um, but what's gonna happen is it's gonna throw them this loop and make them think, um, you know, shit, I need to start acting on the emotions. I can't pretend that everything is okay. I can't pretend that everything is perfect. I have to start really realizing what I want from this situation, okay? Um, and so it's gonna also be a bit of a reality check for them. So whilst they've been acting on logic and pretending that they haven't got these emotions, that they haven't got these deep feelings, that everything is okay, um, you know, perfect, not really perfect, but you know, whilst they've been thinking that and hiding away from these emotions, when they meet you, when they communicate with you, there's a change in this energy, okay? Very strong change in the energy. So for those of you that are manifesting, your manifestations are coming into fruition. Um, I did a manifesting video when I first started the channel, that's linked in all the public descriptions if you wanna watch it. Um, and for those of you 
that want an individual manifesting plan, they're tailored specifically to you and your individual situations to bring them round into your favour. Um, so if you want one of them, give me a shout. But we have this kind of aligning of your energies as well. Manifestations, those of you that are manifesting, that's going to be working. Um, and those of you that aren't, there is still this kind of alignment of your energy. And they've been wearing a mask for a little while. That mask is going to be really dropped with you and they're going to start talking to you about emotions, about bloody time. It's took them a long time to get to that point um they're gonna say that the the cycle they're gonna be thinking that the cycle between the two of you where it's been a little bit difficult that cycle is going to be coming to a close that they're going to be starting again and again and wanting this new beginnings with you very much wanting the new beginnings with you now they might retreat from the situation for a little bit once they've met you, they might go a little bit quiet on you. If that happens, it's just because they are reflecting on it. They will communicate with you past that point, okay? So if, if you do meet them and they go a little bit quiet, don't get your knickers in a twist. They will come back to you. Um, if you haven't read Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, I really do recommend that book. I know it's um, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, um, but if you go and listen to that book they do remember with with more divine connections there's still a masculine and feminine energy regardless of your gender and regardless of your sexual orientation and in that book they talk um about the male energy or well, they talk about the male but for us lot the male energy um and this male energy um there is this natural uh, psychological thing that happens with the male and it's called the elastic band theory so what happens is once they get close to you once they connect with you they naturally start to pull away because a chemical is released into their brain and once that chemical gets released they have to do this elastic band theory and they stretch as far as they can and then once they've reached their maximum potential of stretching they bounce back and that is what's going to be happening here so if if your person withdraws from the connection um it's likely to be this kind of elastic band theory connection that's happening between the two of you and um, like i said not sexually orientated or gender specific but you can still work with the energy so it's still quite a good book for you guys to read so there's this potential that they might withdraw from the situation a little bit but if they do that they will still come bouncing back they want to break the cycle of how things have been with you in the past and start working towards a phenomenal future with you and we have your energies aligning with one another which is really cool now the last two cards which are even kind of better is you have the king of pentacles and you have the ten of pentacles so once they meet you once they see you once they've connected with you once they've talked to you they're going to let their emotions come to the surface and they're going to talk to you about a future they're going to talk to you about is there a way that this can work they're going to talk to you about any kind of issues that they might have with regard to children with regard to family any issues around that any issues with regard to culture as well spirit are saying you guys will have an open and honest communication about where this is going and what the likelihood of you guys coming together in the future is and there is really good potential between all of you guys watching your energies are aligning there, there is no in any of this the only negative card over here is can you call it a negative card i love the tower but i also see it as a positive card this is their realization of everything that they've done. This is gonna really hit home for them. You know, they're gonna be thinking, shit, I really messed this up. I really haven't treated them well. I've really got regret and remorse. And all these emotions that they've hidden, like we said, they've hidden them. They're gonna come up to the surface. And when they come up to the surface, this thunderbolt of lightning is gonna be a massive awakening to them. And that massive and awakening to them is gonna be giving you the results that you want you know, and um, they're going to be very happy, very focused on staying in the moment. Um, you're going to be still looking a little bit to the past about stuff that has happened with you guys in the past. They're going to be focusing very much on the present moment and where this is going. Um, but it's hard for you to just suddenly, you know, forget everything that's happened, but they're going to do their best to calm you down, to relax you so that you don't feel this kind of lower frequency. You don't feel, you know, that they don't want you or anything like that. They're going to really start making an effort with you, you know, and um, stuff that they've never, perhaps they've avoided in the past, or even, you know, if it's your ex, um, all these feelings are going to resurface up. Anywhere that they've been acting on logic, it's going to evaporate, spirit of saying, it's going to evaporate. All these logical emotions are going to fade away, and they're going to be really focusing on the essence of love that you two share, and offering you, um, and giving you offers of a new stable foundation to build a future with. So that 
is really cool. And again, as I said at the start, it's looking to be happening in the summer months. Um, potential that they might withdraw again. So just be wary of that. Most likely going to be because of the elastic band theory. Um, but definite wake up call happening with debt number one. So when they next see you, they're going to have a massive wake up call and realise that this is what they want. Spirit are literally saying they're going to wake up and smell the coffee. Um, and this waking up and smelling the coffee is going to be giving you what you want from the situation. Okay. Um, very, very strong foundations to build on. You know, if you're worried about pregnancy as well, this is something that is going to be discussed because I know I said in the last reading about it and everyone kind of, you know, when you hit your 30s, um, as a whole, society places on us that we need to start worrying about our ovaries, myself included, being 34 in like next week and no kids. You know, society places on you, oh, your ovaries are getting old. So I know a lot of you are kind of feeling that same energy, um, but don't let society dictate it to you. You and your person will be able to sit down and discuss it, okay? Um, you'll be able to talk it through. Energies aligning. P potential withdrawal a little bit, but really breaking the cycle of where you guys have been at. Um, offering you this kind of very stable new beginning energies aligning and if you are manifesting that's working and if you need help manifesting just give me a shout i'm a master manifester manifest like a pro um so if you need me just give me a shout okay and that is deck number one i'm gonna have a breather and then i'm gonna do deck number two Mwah! lots of love guys bye okay angels deck number number two Okay, so as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. We go into all your energy, we go into all your people's energy. I'm just making sure it was press and record then, because I just recorded uh, about five minutes and I hadn't pressed record and the, the screen went down. So I was like, what's happening? Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's energy? Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of your person as well. Okay, let's do this. This tablecloth keeps riding up. I have stuck it down, but I haven't stuck it down in like the best way. Can you tell me what is the person going to think next time they meet? So it might not be face to face. Um, a majority of you it will be, but some of you guys, it could be um, over social media as well. Uh, you know, when you meet someone through social media, it is happening, especially with everything that is going on in the moment uh, with the world. Okay. What is going to be happening? What are they going to be thinking when they next meet those people watching? Love this deck so much. What's going to be happening? Yeah, I got them at the conference. Uh, I saw there's someone using them at the WDA and I was like, I need this deck. I'm learning Lenoma at the moment as well. Very different from Tarot. Very different from Tarot, but I'm actually kind of getting there now. I'm about probably 50% there with understanding it and uh, learning it. It's very blunt. So if you guys are after blunt answers, it's it's the deck for you. Okay, and one more, please. Okay, that's a hand. That's, we will have all of these. We will work with all of these. So let's start at their initial thoughts at the end of you guys meeting. So we're starting at the end and we're working our way backwards. So your person, um, you guys have been going through a bit of a period of transformation. Perhaps you haven't been in contact, perhaps you have been in contact, but either way, there has been this period of transformation happening between the two of you. Spirit are saying that the old way, the way things were before with your person in the past, it wasn't fully working out between you guys. So it's like the whole thing has had to kind of collapse to be rebuilt and so when they next see you they're going to be thinking about you in a much more positive light they're going to be feeling a lot more confident about the connection between the two of you and they're going to be feeling um very strong willed that actually this is something that could work out between you guys so this period of transformation is going to be coming up they haven't forgotten you so we've got some forget-me-nots they have not in both cards you have forget-me-nots they haven't forgotten you um 
it's like the universe is kind of holding the key to this unraveling and so if you guys have been putting timings and things on it try not to try not to control it let the universe do its job for you rather than you trying to control it um they can see that there they will be saying that there is great potential between you guys that you guys can have a, a really happy future together um but you both have to start putting the stuff from the past behind you okay they are going to both of you are going to be looking at the present moment okay so you, when you see each other, you're not really going to be thinking about the past anymore. You're going to be focusing very much on the present moment. Now, there might be a few discussions that come up about stuff that has happened in the past, but more so your person is going to be staying in the present moment and you guys are going to be looking a little bit more towards the future and what direction. You're going to be amalgamating all those energies, but mainly focusing on the here and now. A little bit of a talk about the past, a little bit of a talk of the future, but both of you are just going to be kind of really embracing the moment that you guys are meeting up and everything is cool and everything is great you know um you've been through a hell of a ride with them you've been riding this complete roller coaster of emotions um and it's made things quite difficult for you guys you've really been struggling it struggling with it but your person has too even if they've been hiding away from it even if they've been saying oh no i'm not sure and acting on this logic they haven't been able to completely cut you out and again we have forget-me-nots. So they haven't forgotten you and they don't want you to forget them either. Okay, they don't want you to forget them either. So they're going to be really clinging on to the situation with you. Um, and when they meet you, it's really going to be, I just heard, and this is a little bit naughty, I just heard it's going to be tickling their loins. So you're going to be in a quite a strong sexual energy. They're going to find this very strong um, bond with you and some of it is going to be on a sexual basis. Okay, so um, we have this let's focus on the here and now. We can talk a bit about the past, we can talk a little bit about the future, but actually, I just wanna rip your clothes off and have a bit of fun. Um, so just be a little bit wary about that. But with the sexual energy, you also have a bit more commitment coming in from them. Try not to put timings on it, let the universe do its job. Um, so they might have been trying to cut you out, they might have been trying to act on logic, but it hasn't worked. You have still been in the back of their mind, they haven't been able to break away from this situation with you. So these scissors, are blunt okay you have blunt scissors and um, they haven't been able to step away from it they have been trying to balance the energies out between you both and um, but again you both have been have been thinking about each other and it's really interesting on this card that you have this butterfly in the middle okay so this period of transformation this is you this is them or this is them and this is you okay your butterfly together makes a whole but you've had to kind of go your separate ways at the moment so that you can both have this period of transformation between you both because as we were saying it wasn't working up until the point that you guys either broke or went quiet or whatever has been going on it hasn't been um, enough to survive a stable relationship so it's like you've had to go your separate ways for the time being and um, for you to come back together as a new as a uh, newly established both in experiencing transformation, both really deep digging deep within your souls um, to what is feeling right by you, to, to really discovering who you are as a person. And I hate the cliche of self-love. I hate that word self-love, but it's kind of key in this. Um, that you've both been going through this kind of period of self-love. Spirit also saying to me that you guys have been experiencing a few dark nights of the souls. Um, but neither of you have let this situation go. And the love between the two of you, as well as the sex, but the love between the two of you is extremely strong. And even though they might have said, okay, I'm shutting the book on, book on it, I'm not going to do anything, it won't suffice, it won't last. Um, they're trapping themselves by doing that. So you guys will get a chance to meet again. So you've probably gone your separate ways for a little bit, but you're going to be coming back together um, to be really kind of putting this butterfly into one, okay? So separate periods of transformation to come into one. Um, and being able to communicate it about it. Sometimes your person hasn't been communicating very well, been acting a little bit childish with their communication um, and pulling on your heartstrings, you know? They've been pulling on your heartstrings so um they've been hiding away from it so even though they've hided hid hide it even though they've hid away from the connection over this coffin you have the words hope and reflection so even though they might have took a step back from the situation with you they've still held hope and again this is this forget me not they want this connection to be re-established between the two of you and when you guys meet they're going to be so caught up with how things are and that present moment that everything that's happened in the past between you both is going to be 
evaporated, diminished, and you guys are going to have a chance to try again. Um, really at this moment in time, again, they're reflecting on it, but they're still holding on to hope. It hasn't gone anywhere. They still feel that this connection can be built and rebuilt and re-established between you both. Um, again, clinging on to the situation. Um, they're also checking up what you're up to, checking up you up on social media. And even though the streets are a little bit quiet at the moment, um, they've been trying to see what you've been up to, um, what's going on, keeping tabs on you for sure. Um, but holding on to the situation, they haven't let it go. So when you guys meet, they're going to be seeing you in a lot more of a stable position than perhaps you have been before. Um, you guys are going to be acting more on a logical, grounded position. So before you probably went into kind of quite an emotional position, um, into quite a cops role, sometimes um, with the cops, obviously cops are all emotions. So in the past, you've probably acted a lot on your emotions. Now you've had this period or having this period of transformation with your person. When you guys come back together and you meet, you are going to be in a much more stable position and your person is going to see that and they're really going to be drawn to that. They're going to be really attracted to that rather than the emotional side of things. So you've got a sexual energy coming forward with you and you've got the logical energy. You're going to be standing in your bitch power saying, you know what? This is on my terms now, okay? But I am the one that's calling the shots. This is my ladder. You are either going to come into my life and you're going to enhance it or you're not. And if you're not, I'm not interested. And the more you step into that power, the more your person is going to want you and going to want to chase you. So please keep that at the back of your mind. From there as well, you have them thinking uh, that this is going to be good, that you've got a chance, that you've got a future, you've got your victory and you've got action. And a lot of this is a lot more stable than it has been before. So when you guys meet up, they're going to realise that they've been idiots. Um, you guys are going to be have gone your separate ways. Uh, it's a case of when the universe is going to bring it to you again. You can manifest it or let me know if you need a manifesting plan, if that is something that you want. Uh, potential here for weddings as well. You will be meeting up. Um, sexual energy is really strong. Focusing on the present moment with little talks about the past and the future. They haven't forgotten you, even though they try to cut you out. They've been trying to pretend that everything is okay, shot in the book on the chapter, but they're still feeling trapped by it and they haven't escaped. You haven't escaped their thoughts. You've both been going your separate ways to have this period of transformation. This transformation is going to be communicated about, which is going to bring in more stability. Um, they haven't forgotten you if you're in this like no period of no contact or things are a little bit quiet. They're having a period of reflection, but they've also got hope for it to move forward. They're still watching you on social media. You're becoming more stable in your foundations. And through that, you have your victory um, and you have this chance of it working out between the two of you. Action, movement. So they will make moves towards you and you will have the chance to meet up with them. And you will be coming to this more stable foundation to build on. Um, they haven't let you go. You know, if you're sitting there worrying, what if they never message? What if I never hear from them again? What if this? What if that? Try to release those thoughts. I, I showed you the last couple of weeks that book um, by Sarah Prout, The Universe Has Got My Back Off. I can't remember. The Universe, it's called. Um, that book would be really good for helping you to release these fears over the situation. You have movement, you have action and you have a coming together. Now, what you guys choose to do from there is going to be up to you. But when they next see you or communicate with you, their thoughts on this are going to be, um, wow, this, this person is beautiful. This person is attractive. This person has grown. I've grown. Perhaps now there's a real chance we can get it to work. And that is deck number two. Okay, so if you need me, what I will do is I will put all the details in the description for you. Uh, I am sending you tons of love. Look after yourself and I'll speak to you soon, guys. God bless. Bye.